We have literally squandered $25 billion on the homeless issue over the last five years. And I say squandered because there was recently an audit that wanted to see like, okay, where did the money go? Because over the last five years, we've spent all this money, but homelessness has exploded. Homelessness has increased by 58% since 2013. Okay, so obviously this money isn't going where it was supposed to go. Right. And so it turns out that the uh, the state government started giving out these grants during, well, not during, but after 2020. Okay. And the grants that they would give out to were these nonprofits, uh, newly formed nonprofits in many cases, that were uh, tasked with helping the homeless. Except some investigations found they weren't actually helping the homeless. They were giving their executives some massive raises, uh, lots of gifts to the staff, you know, there are videos of some of these nonprofits literally going to Skid Row and handing out crack pipes. Right. And that's their idea of helping the homeless. So uh, the Project Room Key expansion happened. And uh, some of these nonprofits that were tasked with converting old hotels and motels into apartment buildings for the homeless uh, didn't finish their projects, abandoned their projects after getting tens of millions of dollars in these uh, state government grants. And I'm furious about this. They stole from us. And so when you have that experience here, right, in California, and you see how all of these politicians who have all of these friends, who run all of these nonprofits, who stole our money, when you see that, it's really hard to have these conversations about how we need to increase taxes on anyone. You know, increase taxes on the rich, increase taxes on corporations. Generally speaking, I'm in favor of everyone paying their fair share. Right. Me too. But I'm less interested in having a conversation about taxing people more when I've seen what is done with our money. On a federal level, a lot of it goes to the military, right? Not even the military, not to the men and women who risk their lives for this country. It goes to weapons manufacturers, defense contractors, Boeing, Raytheon, you get the point. Mm -hmm. You look at the uh, starting salary of a soldier in our military, and it's like 20-something thousand dollars, considering we're spending close to a trillion dollars a year on our defense department. That's insane, the right? Cops don't make much either. Same. They don't, right? And if you want quality cops, you pay them. You need to Train pay them. them. Exactly. But also, uh, defunding the police makes no sense when you need better training. Better training costs money. Right. So all of these things, all of these ideas that I used to subscribe to on the left have been implemented and they have failed. And I'm not interested in having a conversation about keeping this gravy train for a select few going because it's the, in their view, moral thing to do. Like, no, this is not moral. All of the problems that you guys said you were going to fix, you have made worse. They refuse to recalibrate, and it's infuriating. Why? Keeping it real with Jillian Michaels.